convicted armed robbers who committed murder while doing a robbery. That's who I'm talking about in this episode. <clears throat> yeah, I met these two, their father and son, whilst I was in Franklin, when I was serving time in Franklin. Yeah, and the two I'm talking about, father and son, is uh, Derek Eleanor and Barry Eleanor. So uh, Barry and Derek were from Bradford and they were both committing armed robberies. But what they were doing was they were robbing the security vans and they were robbing the cash boxes because Derek, the father, used to work yeah, for the security vans delivering the cash so he knew the ins and outs and he knew the times and different things he knew he had a lot of inside information so uh, at the time I think Derek was in his 60s well, he, he was actually he was in his 60s Barry was in his 40s when they were committing these armed robberies and they got away with it for over eight years committing these armed robberies and uh, on this particular day can't remember exact details but I'll just tell you what I remember if you google it you will see the full stories Barry Allen and Derek Allen are from Bradford yeah, I'm on this particular armed robbery they robbed a cash box Derek was the getaway driver and his son Barry was doing the robbery and as he was he actually had the cash box I think and as he was making his getaway yeah, a bystander actually seen what was going on and I can't remember what gun it was but I'm sure it was a shotgun and Barry let one go and blew him blew the bystander away he was just an innocent bystander but he tried to stop the robbery and yeah Barry blasted him killed him and I believe they were getting they were actually getting away with it I'm not sure how long after it was when they got caught but from what I remember yeah, in Franklin, the tales that were going around or the stories that were going around, what I, I remember getting told, the reason they got caught was because Barry was down the local bar bragging about what he'd been doing, these armed robberies. And he actually bragged about killing someone, obviously, and someone in the bar who was listening to the stories and obviously heard about what had been going on with the robberies and they uh, grassed them up. But yeah, uh, what a what a bit of a plonk that fucking in the bars bragging about what he'd done. <laughs> but where uh, when I met Barry and Derek in Franklin, Derek, you would never have believed it. He just seemed like I mean when I met him, I'm sure he was round about 70 then. Yeah, just a little old bloke with grey hair. He just looked like your typical old bloke, someone that you would see outside of his bungalow doing his gardening or something, just looked innocent. Yeah, and Barry was just like a bit of a geek to be honest with you, he looked like a bit of a... He was an alright bloke, didn't get us wrong, but he didn't look like a typical armed robber either. Not that armed robbers look got a typical look, but um, Barry just looked like a, like a seal, like a bit of a fucking bit of a, a gimp <laughs> but he um I Derek was a he was a, even though what he was in for what he was in for he was a uh, he was a nice old bloke he got on with everyone and that was a uh, Barry and Derek and they were serving I believe they got a recommendation that they must serve 27 years in prison before they can apply for parole but he um <clears throat> I can see Derek was in his 60s at the time and I'm not sure if he's still in Franklin. The last I heard, he was still in Franklin and he was in a, a bad way, but a, a Derek will die in prison now. But he, um, yeah, that's my take on Barry and Derek, the armed robbers. So yeah, uh, I will be telling more stories about other criminals that I met whilst I was in Franklin. There's many, many of them that I met. So uh, if you keep 
tuned remember to hit that subscribe button and i will be uploading more videos but yeah uh, that's it for that one people take care enjoy the rest of your day